Hi and welcome back to the next part in our tutorial series on how to create a survival game with Ultimate Survival. And we've got an announcement to make. We have a winner of our giveaway for Vikings of Brutality. The winner is the account holder on Twitter of Make My Days. I've always known as RIP Dream. So congratulations and I'll be reaching out to you very soon with your license key for Vikings of Brutality from DevDog. And a big thanks again to DevDog for that free license that we could give away. In this tutorial, we're going to reload by pressing the R key on our keyboard. Now, I was already using the R key to get out of my car, so I just popped it back into the car script and I changed the get out of car to the Y key. Just make sure your keys are not bound to another action. We want to be editing this little fellow, the ammo drag handler. Just going to add a little bit more functionality to him so let's open him up in our favorite editor and here we are if you look down get past this code that we've got here let's get make some space and we're going to add in a couple more variables first of all let's say uh, new oh not new not a cat new variables for reload by key press just so we don't forget and I do like to stick little the arrows in sometimes and let's say a private player event handler can I call you M underscore player event handler you really should stick to some syntax every now and again All right now in this guy we're gonna use this guy we're gonna call him in the start and well oh, I just want to add one more well two more variables All right we want to add a serialized field so serialized field for getting the main inventory and we're going to do serialized field now private game object promise that I wouldn't be typing code again and here I am just typing because I just want to be a little bit typing every now and again so private game object m underscore um, in inventory oops I forgot my semicolon now we want to go private and, and now this one's going to be an item container and get inventory all right, so we're going to grab the game object from the world for our main inventory, and we're going to get the item container from that game object. And I think that's as much typing as I'm going to do with the camera on. Let's just delete that space, and I'm going to make a bit of space here. It's, well, I'm going to pause it now, and I'm going to do some typing, and then come back, and there'll be a load of magic on your screen. Here we are, and we've got now the m underscore player event handler that we called at the top here, the current item to its parent, and we got from that parent. Now, if we do have the game object set in the serialized field, the get inventory value, I want to set that to be the item container from this game object. And we're going to go to down, keep going down till we find here it is our first instance of this um, underscore dragged item RT. When I grab him, copy him, and we're just going to put an if statement here. We're going to say if he actually exists, if he's been set, and there we go. All of this is going to live now inside this if statement. So we want to basically say that make sure that the item is dragged. Because we're going to need that later on as we're going to reuse these scripts for reloading with the R key. Okay, let's go down again. Actually, let's grab him so we don't have to redo it again later. Let's go down and actually let's make sure we put our word wrap on there we go now you can see this and then I load 
ball. Um, right. Let's make use of that and say if put an if in there and then underneath it we're gonna say animate load equals false. And here if item under pointer does not equal the M player event handler uh, equipped item get brackety brackety then our animate load is false and this is making sure that the equipped item is the same one that is dragged onto oops I don't want to move that there don't play the animation if it's not the same item as a little bug that I saw when I had the shotgun equipped and I was loading the assault rifle with the magazine it was animating the shotgun and that really annoyed me so we've been able to resolve that bug by using the player event handler equipped item okay let's go down so we see again this like we saw in the last bit at the top and paste in oops our new bit of if handler or if statement and then you down at the bottom and indent you nicely okay and now we want to put an else in here and we're going to say that this initial slot so initial slot item holder set item and in brackets gonna put here no or null no, oh, my fingers are not working this is why I don't type as I'm recording because it goes all pear shape now this is for our reload by R we're saying that if you weren't dragging an item well that means that something already still is sitting inside that initial slot so we need to set that slot to null so set the slot with ammo to null as it's being used up the reason why it's being used up is if you look at the top here we say if you need more ammo than what is in the entire stack we consume all the ammo so you got to make sure that you've consumed all the ammo right let's go down and down and here we're going to do the same thing again put our if statement in and like before made another little mistake all those the tabs and close off our curly make it look tidy tab him in actually this time let's put let's put him up here so you're only putting that item back in the initial slot if you've actually dragged it in the first place now I want to make some new custom uh, functions but we're going to use our update method so we want to put void update curly curly in there and before we start putting anything in our void update let's make our private void reload key and then curly curly in there right now at this point I want to pass through a savable item there save all oh, my fingers savable item and item under pointer reuse it. I'm just going to reuse it the same names makes it easier for me when I'm copying and pasting because just nicking bits of code from up above and tweaking it a bit and if we're using the same names we, we know that we're put talking about the same thing so we're going to be using the item under pointer as our currently equipped item and the dragged item we're going to call that our currently selected slot now because I'm doing pretty badly typing and talking at the same time I'm going to pause again okay so here we are we've got an integer that I've set and I'm calling him in size for the size of my inventory remember we did a similar thing when we were playing about with the um, inventory and adding our backpack so I'm using the get inventory dot slots and dot count that's how many slots can we count 
that are in our inventory. So for each of our slots, I'm going to call them slot in our get inventory dot slots. We're iterating through our inventory. We're checking that the current item in our slot and the slot dot transform game object active in blah, active in hierarchy. So we're making sure that we've got a current item and it's active. So now we're saying check that the item in the current slot has the same ammo type as currently equipped item. Basically I'm putting this in here so that when we're iterating through our slots we're checking does the item have the property ammo type, does the item have the property is ammo, does the, our currently equipped item have, and that's this thing here, item under pointer, I'm going to reference in later, does item under pointer have ammo type? Ooh, it does, well, does our slot ammo type and our item under point, pointer ammo type match? And if it does, we're going to load our friend the old load ammo function, we're passing through the slot as the initial slot, we're passing through our item under pointer that we got up here, and we're passing through the current item that's in our current slot that we're iterating through. Now if we go up, so basically this is grabbing um, pretty much everything that you've got for your inventory one by one to make sure that it matches your ammo. Now if we go up here on this update we need to now call it and we're going to do that by looking at if you push the R key then we're going to call reload key. Now once again I'm going to pause, type in my code and then we're going to start talking about it. Okay so we've got here the get key up. Now you remember this from our car scripts we basically we had get key up. Well we had I think we had get key down on the car script. I can't remember. But I'm using get key up so that when you're pushing down on your keyboard the reload will only happen when your finger gets off the key. And we're passing through the player event handlers equipped item dot get similar like we had at the top of the script and that is our savable item, the item under pointer. So the if we were talking about this in the terminology that like we had in the last video, the thing that I'm dragging onto, which is underneath my pointer, is now the equipped item. And believe it or not, that's all the coding we're going to do in this tutorial. Let's click save and pop into Unity and see if we've got any glaring errors. Okay, we've got two errors in our script, and that's on line 179, and we've got another one on line 214. Probably just typos we've got here. So let's pop in and have a look at them. So 179, what silly mistake did we make? And if you can see the main problem we've got here is that we've got a lowercase g, it should be an uppercase g, silly me. Alright, click save and see if that error went away. And it's gone, we got rid of that error, good. Always make sure your case is correct. What silly mistake did we make on that one? Well, initial slot item holder set so item let's put you a capital I and as you see the error's gone away always make sure your cases are correct now we've got here the inventory game object let's open up our window and find our inventory and drag them in let's click save are you all excited I'm a bit scared not sure what's going to happen is it going to explode? Let's click play and find out. Alright, so shoot off. Let's just make sure that it's the previous functionality still works. So let's drag that in. Okay, that still works. And let's equip this one and drag him in. Okay, that still works. Let's unload. And let's try to load our assault rifle. Well, we've got a shotgun equipped and see if we animate. We shouldn't animate. Should not animate. Yes, it didn't animate. Lovely. Okay, so um, so let's shoot our shotgun. How much ammo we've we got? We've got 11. Let's push R on our keyboard. Okay. 
you got to take my word for it. I really did push R then. And we're down to nine. Good. Perfect. Um, how about we um, do that and now split our shotgun shells onto one each. Oh, I haven't tried this before. Alright, let's click R. Oh dear. Here we go. Both of them gone. Both of them are gone! Oh! That was a risk. We took it and it worked. Right. Let's unload. Let's push R. He's loaded his empty mag. Perfect. Okay, unload. Let's um, swap and have our mag loaded. Okay, now if we push R, we should put our bullets in our mag. Oh, this is getting better and better. Alright, let's swap them around. Okay, now let's push R. Guys, I am so happy. And it's bedtime, just in time for sleepy and dreams about shooting zombies. Okay, so congratulations again for RIP Dream or Make My Day X. I'll be getting in contact with you very soon to give you your license key for Vikings of Brutality from DevDog. And don't be scared to pop over to Facebook, click like, click follow, leave a review, and go on to Twitter and click follow. Because at the moment, I've got no friends on Twitter. Nobody loves me. Come on, pop over and read things that I write about when I'm sitting on the loo or laying in bed and dreaming up crazy things to talk about. So remember guys, if you like it, click it. If you want to see more in the Ultimate Survival Series, click on the links on the left side of your screen. And if you like these videos and you want to see more of them, please click subscribe. It's in that big button that's down below. And there's next to it, there's a little magic bell. And when you click that bell, it tells you when there's a new video out. So cheers, thanks for all the support.